Hello guys and welcome back and today we will show you how to change these basic side lights for the dynamic side lights. The first thing you need to do is to pull out this glass. So now that you have it pulled out, you have to disconnect these cables. Now set this aside and make sure not to scratch it. Now, you have to pull this one and this one out. It's a Torx 10. Now, as you see, these two tabs. You have to use a flat screwdriver and pry them open. Don't pry too much because you will break them, but try pry just enough so they like fall out while pushing this back piece out. Now this is one and this is two. You hold the back side while you push it out because it will fall and then damage it. Now that you have it out, put it aside. Now that you have this one out, gently try to wiggle this one out and it should pop out of here. To so pull this one and make sure this one pops out and just gently tug. And then, then make sure not to break this one here. This is a little one that is all the way over here, as you can see. And then just gently slide it out. Now unplug this cable and also unplug this one. Now, for the ease of getting it out, I recommend putting this puddle light out. So it's just one Torx. You unscrew it and just pull it out. Now, just push down on this tab and it comes out and now it's just basically reassembly now take your new ones out and let's reassemble now the thing that we recommend to do is to test these out before actually putting them on and fully assembling it so just plug them in and hit it Now, if they work, that's okay. So now, let's begin the assembly. Just take your base and stick it in. The same way it came. So literally, just this step and this step, so it clicks in, like this. Now, make sure that it doesn't want to fall out. Now take your puddle light, put it back in. Don't tighten it too much, literally just a bit, bit, bitch, <laughs> just a bit. Reconnect the cables, one and two, done. Now test it again, just in case, it works, great. Now just slide this back into the places that you've taken it out of. So this bracket here and then the top bracket here. Just slide it in and then make sure this tab clicks into here. So just click and that's perfect. Now it holds this piece and make sure to pull the cables through so you don't lose them inside the mirror. And find the clips again and make sure this one comes out like this and just push it in while tugging it down here so it fits. Find the clips, click, 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 and now it's clipped in. Now make sure to tuck these cables in so you don't accidentally cut them with this. Make sure to tap in these two clips and it's on. Take your two bolts and put them back in. Take your mirror and plug these back in, the bottom one here. Make sure it clicks and then these two and now just line it up with this part and just gently to the car and make sure to test all the functions of the mirror just in case so you don't have to find out later. 
Now check the movement of the mirror. Every direction. It works great. Now check the heating element and the folding element. The mirror folds, that's great. And check the heating one. Just let it heat up for a while and then just touch it. Now it's hot and everything works. So let's move on to the other side. Basically the same process, so we will just put it on time lapse to let you see what we're doing and then finish. Now make sure to connect these. Uh, the blue one is on the top and the red one is on the bottom. Now as you can see, it's done. I think it looks really good. Uh, now make sure to subscribe, to like, if this helped you. And if you have any questions, make sure to hit us up, maybe on Instagram, maybe on YouTube, whatever you like. And yeah, that's about it. So, bye-bye. Get it out, and now it should just come out because it won't f me in the ass, please. What will be a lot of fun. It will be a lot of fun.